Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array, and this is our Ultimate Premiere Pro Basics course. We're going to go through the editing process from start to finish so that you can use Premiere as effectively as possible. Whether you're a complete beginner to video editing or you just need a bit of a refresher, we're going to do our best to get you up to speed. It's important to note that Premiere Pro is such a big and powerful program that people who've been editing for years will still find new things that they never knew about or a new way of doing the same tasks that are just a bit more effective. So just to be clear, this isn't about getting you to master Premiere Pro in just a couple minutes, which by the way is a little misleading. And it's way more about getting you to a place where you're comfortable editing on your own and getting you to that place really quickly. And we've broken up this course into seven different videos so that if you need a retouch on just a particular topic, you don't have to wade through all of the other information. So let's get going with video number one, interface and layouts. The first thing we're gonna do is open up Premiere Pro on your computer. For your benefit, it's a good idea to make sure that your version is up to date, as a few major changes and additions have occurred in 2017. But if you do have an old version, 99% of this will still be the same. When you open up Premiere Pro, you'll see the loading icon before you end up at the Premiere Pro start menu. Here you can view any other projects that you've been recently working on, and over here you can open projects or create brand new ones. Let's create a new one together. Hit New Project and the New Project window will appear. Here's where we tell our computer a few key features about our Premiere Pro project. First of all, its name. You can name your project whatever you want to, but it's important to make sure that you can distinguish it from other files, so names like My Project or My Video should probably be avoided. So for example, if I was making a montage of my vacation to Canada, I would title it something to the effect of Canadian Vacation Montage and maybe even throw in the date that the event happened. Below our name, we have our location. This is where on your computer the Premiere project will be saved. It's important to have a set location for it so that you don't lose it. Because if you can't find your project file, you won't be able to open your project and all of your work might be lost. What I would suggest doing is having a folder for your whole video project on one of the main sections of your hard drive. So for me, I like to put it under my video section. But you may like to have it on a place like your desktop instead. Right click and make a new folder and title it so that you can recognize the folder for your video project. Now what I like to do is make another folder inside of that specifically for your project files. Now click select folder and you're all set. For now, you can leave the video, audio, and capture settings as they are. Now, click on the tab that says Scratch Disk. Your Scratch Disk is a location where your computer can keep temporary storage so that it can work through your footage faster. It's basically the equivalent of a cheat sheet that your computer uses to work with. Unless you changed it manually, it should be automatically allocated to where you saved your project file. The reason you may want to change this is if the disk on which you saved your project doesn't have that much space, as indicated here. If you try to work with very little storage space, you may experience a very slow and sluggish process. If you'd like to change it manually, you can do it in the same way that you changed your project file location. Now that we've set up our project for success, let's go ahead and click OK. Here's our Premiere Pro interface. If this is your very first time in Premiere Pro, it may look a little intimidating at first. But we're going to go through it together so that you can understand it a little bit better. You can think of your interface as being broken up into four different types of sections. An area for importing and managing your video and other media files, called the Project Manager an area for arranging them and making your video, called the timeline, an area for viewing your clips and seeing what's being displayed, called either the source monitor or the program monitor, and finally the area for finding, viewing, and implementing effects to be used on your media files. This should be more or less what your interface looks like by default, but at the top you should notice a few tabs that say things like assembly, editing, color, etc. These are presets for how your workspace looks and where these different sections can be placed intended for different parts along the editing process, or just for your personal taste. By selecting a different preset, you can see that we now change the way our workspace looks. You can also take each of these individual tabs and move them around by clicking and dragging to any other point that you want. And where it's highlighted will be where it's located once you let go of the mouse button. Feel free to move things around to get a feel for how this function works. Don't be afraid to mess things up, because if you end up making things look strange and you don't like what you've done, you can go to Window, Workspaces, and Reset to Saved Layout. Now your layout will go back to the way it was originally. So play around to get a feel for your workspace. But for now, let's just stay in the assembly preset. And I hope by now that you feel a little bit more confident about the interface of Premiere Pro and how it's laid out. In the next video, we're gonna look at how to import clips and how to do some very basic edits. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope to see you in the next video.